These peptides can maximize your cognitive function. What if you could rewire your brain and access more intelligence with peptides? Scientists have discovered five unique peptides that can help boost your cognition, improve your memory, and sharpen your critical thinking. And I'm gonna show you which ones these are. You ever struggle with brain fog or mental fatigue? Well, I'm going to show you the secret to using peptides to enhance your cognitive function all day long. In this video, I will show you how you can upgrade your brain by using five peptides that have been proven to enhance focus, mental acuity, and cognition. So what are peptides? Peptides are these small protein structures that naturally exist in your body. And what researchers have done for over a hundred years is they've looked at the different pathways metabolically and they've found that there's peptides that are short-term communication structures. And just like you have microRNA and messenger RNA, well, what this RNA does is it's an envelope that unpacks a peptide and then that peptide binds on the surface of your cell and turns on genes. And when we look at the brain, the brain has so many different pathways in it. And if you can look at which peptides your brain needs the most and then use just a little dose of a peptide, you can remind your body and remind your brain how to make those cognitive connections fire even better. And so in this video, I'm going to go through all five of these powerful peptides that, that are safe, in many cases, very effective for turning on these pathways in your brain that lead to better cognition. First peptide we're going to talk about is dihexa. Dihexa is considered a peptide that's a nootropic because it works on a pathway called angiotensin. Now this pathway is very popular because it's a pathway we've discovered that nicotine works on as well, but dihexa does not have some of the habit forming properties that nicotine may have or may not. And dihexa has been shown to increase structure called BDNF and actually in many studies, they found that it can cause an expression of a seven times greater. And one of the things I love to do when I use dihexa is I like to do high intensity interval trainings. And so this is where you get your body, you, you may go one minute on, one minute off, but you go as, as hard as you can. I like to jump rope and I'll do one minute hard and then I'll take a minute off and then the timer goes off another minute and I'll do that for 20 minutes. And that's a great way that you can express higher levels of BDNF but it's also how you can maximize your use of dihexa. In some of the studies, they use dihexa as a dopaminergic agent, and this was in patients who had tremors. And they found that maybe if we could flood the brain with more dopamine, some of the tremors would subside. And what they found in, in some of these patients who had Parkinson's disease, they found that it didn't necessarily help the tremors, but it really helped their cognition. And so dihexa you know, now is, is known as one of the great nootropics for cognitive function. The second peptide is a peptide called CMAX. Now, CMAX was discovered in Eastern Europe and it was used with a lot of the people in the military who needed to stay up all night and protect the personnel. And what they found is that when these soldiers were using CMAX, they had greater levels of focus, they had more accuracy when they were shooting. They also had uh, just a general sense of well-being that was accompanied with it because CMAX is also a dopaminergic agent. So it turns on genes so that you have more expression of dopamine, which helps with the prefrontal cortex function. The third peptide is called Selenc. And Selenc or Selenc is a very powerful GABA producing peptide. So it activates genes that help your brain express more GABA. And we call this a natural benzodiazepine, but it's not to be classified under the benzodiazepine category. It doesn't have near the downstream side effects as like a Xanax or any kind of benzodiazepine would have. What Selenc does is Selenc calms down anxiety. It helps with creativity, helps with focus. It's the peptide that can help bring the right and left hemisphere of the brain together. And one of the things I love about CMAX is it actually has antiviral properties. Some of the studies show that just by spraying CMAX, you can stop some of the viral replication in the nose. And so 
back when we had the big pandemic, one of the things that we found to be very effective was using CMAX. And we would combine that with glutathione nasal sprays and it seemed to help ward off some of the viral replication. The fourth peptide, which is probably the most controversial, but also the most powerful, is a peptide called cerebrolysin. It's controversial because it does come from the brains of pigs. And there's a company in Austria that has the sequencing to cerebrolysin, and cerebrolysin works on multiple pathways in the brain through the mechanisms of neurogenesis. It also is neuroprotective, and it helps with stress resilience. What cerebrolysin has been shown to do is it helps calm down some of the inflammation in the brain so that you can get better expression on the neurotransmitters. It also helps calm down the glial cells so that the glial cells can now allow for the transmission of information to go from cell to cell. But cerebral lysin is also very neuroregenerative. So if you have any kind of traumatic brain injury or patients who've had significant issues like strokes, cerebral lysin might be something that could be helpful for that. The problem is because it's 43 amino acid chains, what it's been classified is as a biologic drug. And so it's not easy to get cerebral lysin and not all cerebral lysin is the same. A lot of people say they have cerebral lysin, but it's a fragment of that entire peptide structure. But cerebrolysin has been a peptide that I've used on multiple occasions as a brain reset, where I'll do IVs of cerebrolysin to help clean out and regenerate my brain. I use that with intranasal stem cells and I found it to be incredibly beneficial for my long-term memory and also just for my sense of overall well-being. The fifth peptide to unlock the cognitive bolts that keep us trapped is a peptide called RG3 synapsin. Now this is a true east-west peptide because if you think of RG3, what is it? Well, it's methylcobalamin, so it's a methylated version of B12, and it also has some NAD in it, and the third ingredient is my favorite, is called ginsenganoids. And so one of the things they did with ginsenganoids is they looked at mice and they wanted to see how far mice could swim. And they said, well, if we gave mice some of these ginsenganoids, could the mice swim farther? And so they watched the mice, they saw how far they could swim, and then they pulled them out of the water and then gave them the ginsenganoids and the mice were able to swim almost twice as far. So if you have a mouse that does long endurance swimming, RG3 synapsin might be a really good treatment for them. Okay, or if you do swimming or if you do any kind of athletic activities, or if you're somebody who needs to be on point cognitively all day long, I love RG3 synapsin because you have the NAD, you have methylcobalamin, and then you have the ginsenganoids, and that creates a greater level of ATP. You have a greater processing of the oxidative stress that can build up throughout the day, and you'll notice your mental clarity doesn't go away, and you don't even need stimulants for it. So those five peptides, Dihexa, CMAX, Selenc, Cerebrolysin, RG3 synapsin are some of the most powerful peptides that you can use. And if you stack them in the right way, you'll notice that your brain will stay nice and sharp no matter what stress comes your way. And if you like this information, go to agelessfuture.com and get a copy of my book, The Peptide Blueprint, and we'll show you how you can put these peptides together and work with a world-class team who specializes in hospitality to optimize your health for good.